Why are you and the Vice President insisting on appearing together before the 9-11 Commission? Because the 9-11 Commission, Commission wants to ask us questions. That's why we're meeting. And I look forward to meeting with them and answering their questions. Now, why you're appearing together rather than separately, which was their request? Because it's a good chance for both of us to answer questions that the 9-11 Commission is uh, looking forward to asking us, and I'm looking forward to answering them. They had a lot of good questions, and I was glad I did it. I'm glad I took the time. It's an important commission. Four hundred and forty-one days after the attacks, the official investigation began in New York. Don't you think that the families deserve to have a transcript or to be able to see what you said? Adam, you asked me that question yesterday. I got the same answer. There was no live television coverage of the first plane hitting the first tower. How do we explain the following comment from George Walker Bush? What was the first thing that went through your head when you heard that a plane crashed into the first tower? I uh, was sitting there and my chief of staff, well first of all when I walked in the classroom, uh, I had seen this uh, plane fly into the first building, there was a TV set on it, and uh, you know I thought it was pilot error. A new book by 9-11 Commission co-chairman Tom Kane and Lee Hamilton outlines repeated misstatements by the Pentagon and Federal Aviation Administration. They write, fog of war could explain why some people were confused on the day of 9-11. But it could not explain why all of the after-action reports, accident investigations, and public testimony by FAA and NORAD officials advanced an account of 9-11 that was untrue. I thought it was a military flight. Flight 77 is five miles southwest of the Pentagon. Jet fighters from Langley are in the air, but due to miscommunications, they are heading east, out over the Atlantic Ocean, more than 150 miles away from the Pentagon. Problem was, when you look at the radar coverage, he he went down low and fast, got below anybody's radar coverage, so nobody knew where he was. Tom Lewis is working radar at Dulles Airport. One of my colleagues saw a target movie quite fast from the northwest to the southeast. Nobody knew that was American 77. What, what did you think? It was a military flight or something? I thought it was a military flight. I thought that uh, Langley had scrambled some fighters and maybe one of them got up there. It was really moving fast. It was moving very fast. Like, like a military aircraft might move at a low altitude. How long were you able to track what turned out to be Americans? Well, it, it was heading right towards a uh, prohibited area in downtown Washington. And, uh, that covers the Capitol and the White House. We then called the White House on a hotline to let them know. The problem was, when you look at the radar coverage, he, he went down low and fast, got below anybody's radar coverage, so nobody knew where he was. One of my colleagues saw a target moving quite fast from the northwest to the southeast. We then called the White House on a hotline to let them know.
initial response to those terrorist attacks that day. There are indications we may not have been told the truth about what happened on September 11, 2001. Remember in the 90s, they spent a hundred million dollars investigating Clinton's sexual exploits. A hundred million dollars. And they first allocated only three million dollars to investigate the murder of three thousand people. at least two blocks, and we started running, four by four, so popping out. It was like, was it, if they had detonated, yeah, they were planning yeah. to take down a building. All the way down, I was watching. Still I hear you calling me. Don't you think that the families deserve to have a transcript or to be able to see this? I mean, they asked me that question yesterday. I got the same answer. Still I hear you calling me. This is the movie's production. 